Let's quickly understand how the President of India is elected. Article 54 to 57 of Indian Constitution governs the process of electing the President of India. The process of electing the President is indirect, unlike to the process of electing the Prime Minister, as we the voters can't directly vote the candidate. Our elected representatives, the MPs and MLAs, including Delhi and Pondicherry, will be voting for this. Apart from this, the nominated MPs of Rajya Sabha and the State Assembly are not eligible to vote in this. But wait, the process is not that simple. Here, all the voters don't have the same value. Although MPs have a fixed value around 705, but in case of MLAs, there is a formula. Number of population of the state divided by the number of seats in 1000. If we take the example of Maharashtra, Maharashtra's population is around 5 crores 4 lakhs 12,255. If we divided it by 2 lakhs 88,000, the outcome is 175, which is the vote count of a single MLA of Maharashtra. Voting will be done through ballot paper and pen. MLAs will be getting a pink color voting sheet and MPs will be getting a green color voting sheet. The voting sheet consists of two columns. One is the name of the candidate and the second is the preference order. But here, no political party symbols will be mentioned on the sheet. The anti-defection law of cross-voting doesn't apply to this. Once the voting process is done, the counting starts. There are two rounds of counting. In the first round, if the candidate secures the quota, then he or she can be declared as the winner. But if the result doesn't come from the round 1, then in round 2, the process of elimination starts. In this, the least preferred one gets eliminated. It repeats until one candidate left in the last. Hence, the last left candidate declared the winner. From 1997, only two candidates are contesting these elections. One from the ruling party and another from the opposition. This time, NDA has nominated the candidature of Draupadi Murmu. At the same time, UPA has nominated Yashwan Sinha's name for the post. Now, after understanding the whole process, what do you think? Who will be clinching these elections? Comment below.